What's up everyone out there? This is my 90 day challenge. And uh, I'm trying to think, I need to have a introduction. Um, I want to take a time to give a shout out to my cousin, Danny, Danielle, what's up? She gave me a suggestion, like a hashtag and I took it and I think I'm gonna run with it, but I'm gonna change it a little bit. Since I do most of my videos in the car, and I'm obviously in the driver's seat, and it's kind of uh, the things I've been talking about have to do with life. And I also wanna give a shout out to my sister for helping me out. She was kind of giving me some ideas on what to talk about. So I'm gonna kind of use those two and put them together. But this is, uh, I think I'm gonna call this in the driver's seat or something like that. So I'm gonna start off by saying, what's up everyone? Welcome to In the Driver's Seat with Matthew J. Petrie, <laughs> something like that. Let me know what you think. So thanks Danny for giving me the idea about the, uh, sh the um, idea. You said Matt's Car Chronicles, which I thought was pretty cool. And it's funny because I actually postponed recording myself or starting a podcast or anything because I was going crazy on what I should call it, <laughs> which is probably the least most important thing, the least important thing to worry about. But uh, so let's call this in the driver's seat with Matthew J. Petrie. Or should I just say Matthew Petrie? Or just Matt? Anyways, also shout out to Megan for giving me topics on how to stay positive in a negative world. And there is, there's so much in this world, especially nowadays. I don't know if it's just that I'm getting older and I'm just more aware. Or is it the social media platform and your instant news being presented to you today we were coming home from uh, just for an instance we were coming home from uh, Redlands and we got home and literally an hour later we saw that there was a man a boy a kid I don't know who was gonna attempt suicide or jump off the bridge off of Archibald which is literally like two blocks from our house and it was around the time that we passed and we were just like oh my gosh it's crazy that somehow this news traveled within just one hour and we saw this and I mean it's just the news is everywhere and then to, to say this man there's so many you know it's a sad world right now there's a lot going on there's a lot of uh, divided issues and just confusion I think and you know my way or the highway you know believe this or believe that and it's just it's such a divided world I feel and it's just unfortunately and um, so I mean there's so many topics I can talk about but on that note I'm gonna kind of take a 180 and I was listening to a podcast last night and uh, Troy what's his name? Trey Trey Chaplin, Trey, I think it is, Trey or Troy, oh my gosh, I need to take notes, <laughs> this is all freestyle, unedited, I'm just kind of getting myself out there, in fact, not to get side sidetracked, but uh, I told my wife, I'm like, oh, I'm going to go to the store real quick to do anything so I can do my video, I got to get into the car and uh, I feel kind of more uh, free to be myself, not that I'm embarrassed in front of my family, it's just, you know what I'm saying, anyways, with that being said, the podcast is, is it who you know or what you know that is more important? He actually says, is it what you know or who you know that's more important? I just changed it around. And in his podcast, you really he really kind of dives into his interviews and it it's really who you know and the importance of networking and content and building value and everyone that he interviews, he always ends with the question, do you feel that it's 
what you know or who you know that is more important. And I can just say for myself in my life and looking back to where I am now, it really has been who I know in all the jobs that I've gotten, uh, how I met my wife, and I have to be blessed. I have to be blessed. I am blessed. I feel blessed by the journey that I'm on. And let's just kind of give you an, an idea here. So I didn't go to college and I've always had this entrepreneur spirit. So I've always dabbled in my own businesses. And if you know me, like I said in my last video or a couple videos ago, uh, I've tried everything from uh, network marketing to trying a detailing business, a t-shirt business, candy sales, um, you name it, I've dabbled in it and I've learned a lot from it. And I know that networking is the key because I've, I don't wanna say I failed, even though I kind of failed if you wanna say failed. Uh, failure is more of just, to me, a lesson. It's just not giving up. If you don't give up, you're not failing. You're learning and you're getting back up on the horse and getting back out there and giving it a try again. So. With that being said, not having a degree and living in California and whatnot, to find a good paying job, especially to have a family, to buy a house, to buy car, um, cars, um, you need to you need to make a decent amount of money. And uh, I met my wife through my parents family friends, daughters. So my, my wife was my best friend's daughter's best friend. And we would go on vacations or just, I would see her around. She was always with uh, her and we, I'm not gonna get into it, that's a whole other story. I can even talk about that in the topic. But anyways, her best friend, my wife's best friend, Karina, what up Karina, knew the Crane guys, the family. Uh, and so I put myself out there. We met them. I talked to them. I had my class A and I said, hey, you know, let me uh, let me in on this. Sounds like a cool uh, gig you got here. And uh, I've always been interested in like unique jobs. Uh, I went to helicopter school in Arizona for a year. I wanted to fly for the PD, the ghetto bird. Um, that obviously fell through. Um, so anyways, long story short, I am now a crane operator and it's all due to the fact that I met my wife who knew Karina, who knew a company. I met them at a concert. His name is Wes, good guy. And he gave me a shot. He gave me a, I mean, I didn't have any uh, certs or anything. I, all I had was a class A and uh, the drive to get in. And I worked one Saturday for free just to kind of see what it was, to kind of show that um, I was willing to put in the work and that uh, I was dedicated to learn. And here I am, I think it's going on, man, almost six years in the industry. So that all had to do with who I knew who I know, who I knew, didn't make sense. Didn't sound right, anyways. So I think a lot of it is who you know then becomes to what you know. And a lot of what I know is because of who I know. So I'm gonna ask you guys that question. What do you think is the answer? There's really no answer. In fact, you can kind of play it both ways, but do you guys think it's what you know or who you know that helps you in life. So anyways, 90 day challenge. Welcome to In the Driver's Seat with Matthew Petrie. Till next time, peace.